now that you got the re render region uh, all lined up to where you want it to be let's go to the workflow and now we're going to do the dense build dense cloud click on that quality we want it to be set to medium and then we're going to go advanced and we're going to depth filtering we want to make sure that is set to moderate and again this is again we're just building the masks uh, this time around to help uh, merge the two chunks together and then hit OK and again this will take a little bit of time so I'm going to pause the video and I'll show you uh, the results of our dense cloud All right, we're back. And again, that does take a little bit of time there. And now if we come up to the top here, we saw and currently are on the point cloud. And now we're going to go to the dense cloud. Click on that and you can see the results of us going in there and setting the render region or the little region area for it to calculate and it doesn't have to do all that other unnecessary point calculation outside that box looks pretty good pretty clean I don't think we're gonna have to do much cleaning on the edges here again if you had points kinda shooting off you'd probably want to clean that up the best you can but this is pretty good right from the get-go the only thing we gotta clean is to remove the floor so that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna kinda square up on it a little bit of, of an angle trying to straighten it up and then what I wanna do is use the selection tools so right up in here right next to the navigation we've got selection tools There's a rectangle select if you drop it circle select and freeform select I like using the freeform select and what I want to do is again using spacebar to go into navigation to move around and then hit spacebar again and we get back to the selection tool and I'm just gonna kinda click right on the corner here click and hold and drag out and I'm just gonna go around and select right as straight as possible as I can along that edge and it will select all of it and then I press delete and that will clean off that edge and I just want to keep doing that so I'll hit spacebar kind of move it around use middle mouse to pan and then now spacebar again and then now I'm just going to kind of come in here kind of trace around it do this section delete and then come over here kind of trace around it kind of hard to see and then just do the best you can here and there we go it doesn't have to be all that accurate because this is not our final model again this is only to help us make the mask to combine the two chunks together spacebar zoom back out so the process I've been going through is the same process you would want to go and do the bottom. Oop, looks like it took a little bit too much over here so I'm going to undo that and you just got to be careful but like I was saying the process that we're going through is the same process you want to do for the bottom half of your object And 
now it's kind of like watching paint dry a little bit here but again you can see what you'll see the result of our spending time doing this and then I'll hit spacebar again and then we'll just come in here kind of clean that out and clean this out right in here and I think that's I think that's good enough all right so now I went in there and cleaned it out the best I could and again you could kind of clean these out too or these edges where it's like this little bit extra specular but sometimes I find that that can cause some some problems if you do that it doesn't generate that part of the model so something if you see kind of an edge like that and not a lot of points shooting out you might be okay so I wouldn't worry about it too much all right, so now that we've made the dense cloud and we've cleaned it all up, we're going to make the mesh. So we're going to go back to flow and then we'll say build mesh. And we're going to make surface type arbitrary, uh, source data de uh, dense cloud, and then polyface. We don't need it to be that high. We do want something that's going to be accurate. But again, uh, there's high, medium, and low. Sometimes it, it defaults to low. And what I've done is I've gone to custom and I just type in what I want. So I'm going to do about 2 million right there. And that should work pretty well for so, an object like this. Sometimes if the object is big and more compl complicated, uh, you want to probably up the number a little bit. But again, we're only using it to make the masks. And then I'm going to go to advanced and interpolation uh, enabled by default. That should be fine. And then you just hit OK. And again, uh, it will go through that process. And this one typically goes pretty fast. So we'll see what it does here. Um, and there you go. And then now, if you come up to the top, and if you got a good dense cloud, all these icons are now available. So the first one is going to be shaded, and that's the actual model. And then the next one is the actual wireframe, and if you zoom in, or the shaded. And then the next one over, up here at the top, wireframe, you can see the wireframe itself. So you can see all those triangles all on top of each other making this mesh. So wireframe, shaded, and then shaded and textured. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit more cleanup because it kind of tries to fill in the bottom a little bit, but it never really does a good job. So again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a little bit of cleanup. All right, here come right down here and then we're just going to go back to that selection freeform and just kind of come in here and clean that up the best you can and do it it might take you a couple tries to get it if you get a little if you don't get it all that's okay long as it's pretty darn close all right hit spacebar I'm gonna move it over and then hit the spacebar again start from this end and I'll just kind of move it over Ooh, this one's really bowing I just have to do this a couple times. This one is a little bit harder to to get. There we go. And let's see how that looks. Oh, that 
that looks okay. And let's do this part right here. All right, finished cleaning that up. And there's the final result.